Tuesdays. I know you've had a shock, but can you come right now? They see how you light up when she's around. There's got to be some forgiveness in your heart for me. There you would be wrong. Who will pay for their sins first? Do you think women are weak? I'm going to show you how strong I am. I have evidence concerning several crimes, cover-ups, conspiracies. Veronica, it's Celine. Y'all gonna play this kind of game? All right, have and have not fans, you just saw the preview for next week's episode, A Change of Heart. Uh, episode synopsis, Mitch saves Vinny with a desperate plea to his Malone family members. So, um, it should go about saying that this week's episode, Mr. Jim, was not too well received by myself as well as a majority of the fans and I will be doing a video. I think the title will be Did Mr. Jim Go Too Far? Because uh, I don't want to get too much into it because this is the preview for next week that I want to talk about. But my episode review, just looking at the comments on that, looking at the tweets, looking at my Facebook group, look bait and my DMs on Instagram and even talk with my mom. She spent 45 minutes of her lunch break today talking about the episode. Cause she did not. Um, oh, good. that okay. That that's going to be his own video. But for this particular preview, uh, guys, just so you, if you're new, uh, the preview I just showed you is the preview that came on during like the commercials right after the episode ended. But this trailer breakdown will also cover material that was in the end credit preview for next week. So just so you know, uh, the scene it really got me. So Justin was not in this week's episode which I was shocked by and um, he's going to be in next week's episode and believe it or not, he's going to Veronica's house and he says something that has me like, I, I've got to see where this is going. There's got to be some forgiveness in your heart for me and Veronica and there you will be wrong. Again, I don't, I'm not, I'm not trying to rant or anything. I'm just like, in what world would Justin think that Veronica would okay so let's put aside the fact that Veronica remember there was a I don't even know if she's still thinking this way but remember uh, I think it was when um when Jeffrey was staying in David's condo and he let Justin in because Justin Justin followed him but Jeffrey was the one to open the door they were having sex and Veronica walked in and Veronica in her own delusional mind remember if I could be wrong about this, but I don't even think she's still fully accepted that Jeffrey's gay. Um, she was under the impression that Justin was making Jeffrey uh, do these things. Like, my son isn't gay. You're you're manipulating him. And I'm like, wait, what? So, you got to look at the fact that she hates you for that. You tried to run her, her future daughter-in-law, and her unborn grandchild off the road. Because remember that remember before Melissa took the wheel and the ve uh, her car flipped over, Justin and his truck was you know ramming the vehicle behind him trying to run them off the road. Then you hit her in the parking garage, and for whatever reason you think that she would have forgiveness for you. Right. So like I said, I don't know what kind of. What what he, is he is Justin doing a forgiveness tour or whatever the heck he's doing? But I am interested to see how this scene is going to play out, to say the least. Uh, next up, we got Celine to Jim. You think women are weak? I'm going to show you how strong I am. And then in the preview, we hear uh, Celine talking. So uh, Veronica, this is Celine. Because remember, um, the night before, and remember, I'm talking about the haves and have nots timeline. Oh, no, actually, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. So Ver Veronica met Celine. At the hospital in episode one, I believe, right? Was it episode one where Veronica saw Celine and said, hey, call me and we can get this son of a together? You know what I mean? So I think um, Celine did call Veronica later that night saying, hey, um, I'll talk with you. And she said, fine, come to my house tomorrow afternoon, which begs the question, would Celine even know where Veronica lives? Because remember, this isn't the Harrington Mansion anymore. That got burned down. This is Veronica's new house. Uh, again, not nitpicking. I'm just like, Veronica probably just sent her the address. That's probably it. But in any case, um, you know that Jim is probably still acting like an asshole. Because, you know, just based off her saying, you think women are weak. I'm going to show you how strong I am. Celine 
probably checking on Jim and he's going to, you know, go on his tirade again because that's the theme of this show. Every time a character is on their high horse and treating everyone like dirt, they're about to face a major downfall. That's pretty much where Jim is. Now, whether or not he goes in on Celine like he went on on Hannah this week, I don't know. But either way, he's probably still going to be a smug asshole because that's who he is. Uh, then we have David and George. This is what I'm looking forward to the most. Uh, basically, I have evidence of several crimes, cover-ups, and conspiracies. And I know this is unprofessional, but I do have a mint in my mouth. Um, actually, because I forgot my halls were. You know, I'm not sick, but my throat is kind of, you know, tired because that episode review was 53 minutes. So, yeah, I honestly, I shouldn't even be recording this right now because I'm not fully recovered. But, yeah, uh, hopefully it's not interfering with my speech pattern. But my David impressions is a little off right now. Yes, I have the evidence for several crimes, cover up and conspiracies. And then in the preview at the end of the episode, George is like, so you're handing me a uh, Catherine Cryer on a silver platter? No, Veronica Harrington. And it's kind of interesting because I believe George will happily accept the intel because remember, uh, what was it last week? Uh, you know, you had the Veronica and George meet up where George was like, Hey, um, you know, your, your son told the chief of police about how you sent a group of thugs over to your husband's house. And I can leave you with that. If you agree to testify and pretty much give me Catherine Cryer, which she refused. And he was like, the arrogance is going to catch up with you. So I think, George will happily take that intel and we'll see what happens. I, that's what I hope happens anyway. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Hannah's beating on Jim because it's like I, I did what I said I was going to do. And um, then we have Catherine on the phone with Hannah. It's like, you know, your husband killed my son. And then he's then she's like, I know you had a shot, but can you come down right now in regards to Marty and Catherine trying to set her up to be the executor, you know, to hold her assets and everything? which I think is a terrible idea, but that will be its own video. And not because of Hannah mistrust. That's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is, and I, again, I will do a separate video, but just to, uh, just to kind of throw it in there. Hannah s sees, or excuse me, Hannah has experienced the problems of having money. It's like, you know, more money, more problems. It's like through ill-gotten gains, her children have taken and kept damn near 9 million. Because it's like 8.8, 8.7. I know they keep saying 8 million, but it's damn near 9 million. But basically, $8 million. Jim has threatened, harassed, did all kinds of stuff. So now you're telling me, Catherine, you want me to be in charge of all of your assets. Like, yeah, even though you're the one who's trying to get me legally set up to hold on to this stuff. What makes you think Jim and whoever else won't try to come after me for it? So literally, things are getting jacked up. And I want to take it even further. Going back to the episode synopsis, Mitch saves Benny with a desperate plea to his Malone family members. I'm still thinking a favor is going to come out of this. Like Mitch, either Mitch and or his family will be expecting something from Candace and or Benny. And yeah, the whole Candace having a favor, Mama Rose. Look, kind of like Jim, the favors will run out at some point. I'm just saying. So if Candace, would, and again, I don't want to go into this like rant phase because this is for another video, but I have to say this, like if Candace would have just given the damn money back, then Benny would have been let go and this, would, but then, okay, you know, I'm done. I don't want to, I don't want to get into that mood again. Okay. Yeah. Catherine and Hannah, uh, Landon telling Charles that, you know, he's a lot brighter and happier whenever Candace is around. So he's trying to still vouch for Candace and Charles getting together. We get a brief non-vocal scene of, you know, Jeffrey Owens in the episode or Conley. Conley's going to be there seeing, uh, Charles as well. And, uh, what is it? Madison is in the room out of bed, still naked. And he's like, Come on, what's something's going on? It's like you don't even look at me or something like that. Whenever you're in the room, he's like, I'm just trying to show you respect. Well, I don't want to be respected. And I'm like, I think Tyler kind of turned on the thirst meter on Madison a bit too much. It's just like, I don't really like what they're doing with this character right now. So I don't know. But uh oh yeah, funny scene where Catherine's like, So did they tell you that uh there were no charges against you? Wait, there's not? Hell no. I mean, hell yeah, we're pressing charges. Wait, against your own son. The son that tried to kill us and shot at us. So, yeah, once again, Wyatt is delusional as hell. So, that's pretty much the trailer for next week. Um, not it, it looks promising. It does. I honestly think that this trailer 
has me more excited for next week's episode than last week's trailer had me for this week's episode, to say the least. But, um, yeah, guys, uh, just a quick little disclaimer, and I will go over this again in my video about Mr. Jim going too far. Like I said, that video did kind of take me out, my episode review. So, for the sake of my voice, I'm not going to record anymore today. This will be my last video of the day. Um, I'll put up more content. What's today? Wednesday? Yeah, I'll put up more content on Thursday. Uh, some people told me to check out Cherish Today. And uh, what's that show on ABC? Is it called um, For Life? I've been hearing decent things about that. So, I'll check out those shows, but a little later in the week. Either like on Friday or over the week. Look, Valentine's Day, I'm single. I ain't got no plans. So, I'll probably be watching those shows. But, um... When it comes to the episode review, I, I'm i not sorry for anything, just to let you know. Like, when I do these reviews, they're honest, they're to the point. Because um, I know some people, I, I, I was engaging in comments because uh, I just saw how quickly comments were uh, piling up. And uh, the, the Dern video had well over 100 comments within the first couple hours of the video being up, the review. And... Um, yeah, the episode was the lowest rated episode I've ever given an episode of Haves and Have Nots. And to some people who are just criticizing me, I said one of the worst episodes, not the worst episode. And like, again, some of these people who comment, and again, I'm not like giving the trolls energy and whatnot, because there are people who agree with me. Other people are like, yeah, I think a five out of 10 rather than a three. That's okay. That's what the video, that's what the channel is for, for communication. I'm not looking for everyone to agree with everything I say my theories, my reviews and whatnot, I pretty much use the video as a platform and then the comment section is the audience. That's where we can all communicate together. But um, I honestly didn't think about it while I was recording the video because somebody was like, yeah, it's like I felt so off put by the Mr. Jim stuff because it's Black History Month and we got that mess playing and I'm like, if I would have thought of that during the episode review, would have got a lower score, but I stand by what I say. Uh, I have been noticing a large number of people who have flat out said, whether it be my Instagram DMs in my have and have not Facebook group in the comment section of these uh, videos on Twitter, they are done with the haves and have nots. Last night's episode, wow, the um, it's real. Like I said, I'm going to do a Mr. Jim video. And I will go over like I'm gonna let the episode review kind of marinate for a day or two. The Mr. Jim thing, I'll probably do that video on Friday or something. I just want to really see more about what the uh, fan base has to say. Just because you know I posted the damn video like at before five o'clock this morning. Then I know some people obviously work in school, so maybe the uh, comments will continue to come in. But this episode just was wow i have no words but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about next week's episode which does look better in my opinion um are you still watching the show like i'm not quitting the show like i'm not i'm just like that last night's episode like was off-putting to me to say the least but with all that being said make sure you subscribe to the channel uh follow me on social media links are in the description below uh, make sure you hit the bell notification icon. That way you don't miss out on any new content. And like I said before, I will definitely give For Life and Cherish Today a shot. I'll watch them. I do believe Cherish Today is a two-night premiere event where it's two episodes. So I'll watch those back-to-back. -back, and then I'll watch For Life and I'll probably do videos, you know, going over them. But like I said before, um, check out the episode review. Like I said, it is 53 minutes. Just to let you know, I even say it at the beginning, hey, I gave the episode this score, but for the sake of, you know, not being an entire rant video, during the first 25 to 30 minutes, that is strictly review, but then the back 15 to 20 minutes of the video, I go in, like, because I know some people like, yo, man, uh, because a couple people like, you know, your energy's off this season, but it's like, it's season seven, the gloves are off, like, if there's something that doesn't hit right, I will let you know, and plus the scores, like, they might be all over the place, but again, it is season seven. Some of this stuff needs to be moved forward with in terms of the story. And then last night, like I said, three out of ten, it's just because the, the episode was not that good. So, if you want to just sit back, relax, and have, like, almost an hour-long thing to listen to, that's the episode review for you. Um, but, yeah, I can't wait to see what happens over the next couple of days because people were not feeling Mr. Jim whatsoever.